A Madison County Sheriff's deputy shot in the line of duty. This is a very dangerous job. Police say the suspect in the case has been killed. We're live with the latest on the investigation. We're also at UK Hospital where the injured deputy was taken. How police officers from around the area are showing their support. And we'll show you how people in Madison County are now rallying around the injured deputy and the Madison County Sheriff's Office. WKYT News starts now with breaking news. Good evening, I'm Andrea Walker. And I'm Sam Dick. What police say began as a traffic stop today ended with a Madison County Sheriff's deputy being shot and a suspect dead. WKYT broke this story on air and online this afternoon. The shooting happened just before 2 o'clock outside a home on Arthur Jackson Road near Berea. Now, fortunately, police tell us the deputy's injuries are non-life threatening. This video comes from Officer Dawn, who flew over the scene this afternoon in Sky First. We have breaking news team coverage tonight, beginning with Victor Puente at the scene in Madison County. Victor? Well, state police say they're still interviewing the people who were in the vehicle with the man who was shot and killed. They say he and that deputy shot each other, and the deputy is expected to survive. Kentucky State Police are leading that investigation. They say a traffic stop on Arthur Jackson Road led to the shooting. They say the driver of that car pulled into his own driveway and then ran onto his porch. The Madison County Sheriff's deputy chased after him, and at some point they both fired at each other. The deputy was rushed to UK Hospital. Police at the scene say he was shot in the side. The Madison County coroner said the other man died at the home. They, they have those two other people in custody, but so far there haven't been any charges. Police say they don't know what led to the shots. We're, we're uh, happy that he has non life threatening injuries. It's still a very tough situation, and you know, we just have his family in mind. This, this is a very dangerous job. dangerous out there. Police haven't released the names of either of the men, although they tell us they will be shortly. We do know that that deputy has been with the Madison County Sheriff's Department for nine years. There's still quite a few investigators up at the scene, and they tell us they expect to be there for several more hours. Live in Madison County, Victor Puente, WKYT. All right, thank you so much, Victor. The injured deputy was rushed from Madison County to UK Hospital with a police escort. Sean Moody was outside the hospital when the deputy arrived. He continues our live team coverage from there. Sean? Hey, Sam and Andrea, some good news from inside UK Hospital for that deputy and his family. A police source tells me that he is alert and talking with his family. I'm told he actually may be released from the hospital soon. We've been outside UK Hospital since about 3 o'clock. It was pretty hectic initially. That ambulance was brought in by a police escort. Officers from across the area have been here checking in on the deputy and his family inside. I spoke a little while ago with the retired Madison County Sheriff's deputy who told me it doesn't matter what agency you're with or whether or not you're still active, you're still a part of the family. And when something like this happens, word travels fast through that family. A lot of things run through your mind as you immediately think of the families, uh, the wives and the families of the deputies and uh, people that you work with and thinking, you know, is this going to be another funeral or uh, is it going to be something tragic? And thankfully today that wasn't the outcome. Now again, it sounds like some good news for that deputy and his family. This is coming from a police source that he is alert and talking with his family and may actually be released from UK Hospital soon. Live at UK Hospital, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. Very good news there. Now, this shooting comes just seven months after Richmond police officer Daniel Ellis was killed in the line of duty. The community rallied around police then, and they're doing it again tonight for the Madison County Sheriff's Office. Our Monique Blair joins us live from Richmond with the latest from there. Monique? Well, Sam, the Madison County Sheriff's Office has been pretty quiet since we got here around 3 o'clock. Now, I've seen several deputies come and go in the past three hours, but none of them have really been talking a whole lot. Now, this is the second time in less than seven months that the Madison County community has heard the news that one of their law enforcement officers was shot. In November, Richmond Police Officer Daniel Ellis was shot while he was investigating a robbery. He later died at UK Hospital. Today, while I was talking to several people who live here in Madison County, they hadn't yet heard that a sheriff's deputy was shot this afternoon. Each person I told in turn told me they were shocked and upset to hear the news. Kathy Courier told me the community is still grieving from Officer Ellis's death and they can't handle any more gun violence. 
I think we've had enough gun violence in this town, and uh, I don't, you know, I, I think most of it's drug related. Probably he didn't, somebody doesn't want to go back to jail, who knows, but it seems like drugs are the biggest culprit and just awful. So, you know, this town has suffered a lot in the last year, and we don't need any more of this. But. Now, several people I talked to told me although they do not want to deal with any more tragedy, this community is tight-knit and will come together when the support is needed. Reporting live in Madison County, Monique Blair, WKYT. And stay with WKYT for the latest on this shooting. You'll also find updates throughout the night on our website, WKYT.com, as well as the WKYT News app. Well, it has been a steamy afternoon across the bluegrass, and tonight we're talking some showers and storms. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey joins us with an early look at the forecast. Yes, indeed. A little steamy out there today. Temperatures making a run at 90 in a lot of areas. A lot of upper 80s increase in humidity, and you can kind of see that tropical look showing up on our live sky cam. Folks, okay, you're doing a little work out there on the lines, not too far away from the station, but the real focus of the forecast going forward this evening on that steamy air, 86 degrees. Degrees right now in Lexington. Humidity's up there. Winds gusting up throughout the day. That's been our saving grace. But look what else is now beginning to crank up. Thunderstorms here into parts of southern Kentucky from Somerset down toward Monticello and into northern parts of Tennessee. That action right on top of the Lake Cumberland area, too. That's a severe thunderstorm just to the south of Whitley County, south of Bell County as well, near La Follette, Tennessee. That'll lift its way onto the north. May impact parts of the Barberville and Middlesbrough areas coming up over the next hour and change. Thunder and lightning Manchester into parts of Leslie County, Paris, Bourbon County. Little shower trying to pop up. Rest of the Lexington Metro in pretty good shape. From Burksville back toward Glasgow, heading toward Columbia, Russell Springs, Lake Cumberland. Some showers and thunderstorms cruising on in from the volunteer state of Tennessee, and that will continue to lift on to the north and the northeast. All of this out ahead of a strong cold front located to our west with an area of low pressure that scoots in here for the weekend. Short term, still low 80s, right on through 7 to 8 o'clock in many areas. Then it's upper 70s. Anyone still fair game for. A thunderstorm through 11 this evening. Now, when I come back in a few minutes, we're going to focus more on that weekend forecast, guys, and I'll show you why heavy rain is becoming more of a concern. That's in a few minutes. All right, thank you, Chris. A frightening night for a Pulaski County family. Police say a man forced his way into their home armed with a shotgun. But Pulaski County deputies say the tables were soon turned on that suspect, who they say is 32 year old Shane Longlot. Deputies say the man who lives at the home took the gun away from Longlot and held him for police. Severe Rayford has the story new at 6. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Department says they are just glad no one was injured, and they say this wasn't his first offense. The outcome of this could have been considerably different. Pulaski County Deputy Carr Kleinard says Longlot has been on the department's radar for a while. We had been searching for Mr. Longlot for the last three or four days because he was a suspect in a previous uh, burglary that had occurred near his home. Um, Kleinart says in that attempted burglary, the homeowner was able to hold Longlot down for a while, but eventually he escaped. We're seeing if we can tie him to any other burglaries, but we, we know that he's the obvious suspect in uh, the uh, burglary from three days ago and the one that he perpetrated yesterday. For now, the Pulaski County Sheriff's Department wants the community to be alert. We, we remind the public to keep their, their outside lighting on at night, keep their home safe and locked up at night. Although an invasion like this can't hardly be uh, stopped. When he kicked in the back door and was armed with a shotgun when he went in the the residents, uh, there's not much that can be done other than that. Longlot is currently being held in the Pulaski County Detention Center. In Pulaski County, Sabir Rayford, WKYT. Police say there were three children in the home at the time they were not injured. Another delay today in the case against a man accused of killing a Woodford County boy. A competency test hearing was scheduled this morning for Ronald Exantis. He's charged with murder, burglary, and assault. Police say Exantis broke into a Versailles home last December and stabbed six-year-old Logan Tipton. The judge said because attorneys in the case are also busy with other cases, it will be another two months before he can decide if Exantis is competent to stand trial. Logan's mother said this after today's hearing. We firmly believe that Ronald Exantis murdered our beloved boy randomly and in cold blood for his own disgusting reasons. 
We do not believe that he is insane, and we will be waiting patiently for the evidence to prove this in his inevitable trial. Exantis' attorney says he suffered a psychotic break and doesn't remember anything. If he's found competent to stand trial, attorneys say it could be at least another year before the case could go to trial. Crews are having a hard time trying to find a man who disappeared in a southern Kentucky river. An update on that search next. Truckers high on the job. It enraged me because not only is he taking his life in his hands, he's taking my family's life and the general public. An increasing danger that could threaten your summer road trips. High behind the wheel. Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Thank you all for being here. Mom really hoped that she made a difference in the lives of others and, and that her life mattered. I owe Mom everything. I am so glad we had this life celebration for her. The stories you all shared really touched our hearts. Especially yours, Uncle Bob. I wish she could have heard it. You know, I believe she did. Contact Clark Legacy Center to plan your end-of-life celebration. When you play Kentucky Lottery games like Five Card Cash, college students all over Kentucky are dealt a winning hand. Feeling imagination. Funding education. Toyota started with an idea, and Prius changed the world. That led to the family size Highlander and a hybrid version of Camry, America's best selling car. Two more Prius models, a luxurious Avalon, and now the first ever RAV4 hybrid sport utility and the mid size fourth generation Prius. The most dynamic, most responsive Prius ever. Toyota hybrids, now with seven to choose from, starting at just $23.95. Toyota. Let's go places. Back in 1809, I, Efer McDowell, performed the very first abdominal surgery right here in Danville. And since that time, I've seen generations of medical professionals build upon my work. I've seen awe-inspiring breakthroughs. And I've seen doctors with the ability to cure ailments that even I would have thought impossible. Today, the hospital that bears my name still captures the essence of who I am. And I could not be prouder. Central Equipment and Kubota, two names synonymous with quality. In 1982, our family business, Central Equipment, began selling Kubota equipment. Today, we've expanded our offerings to include the full line of Kubota products, from mowing and compact tractors to hay equipment, spreaders, utility vehicles, and large tractors for your farm. This season, trust the experts at Central Equipment and see the latest lineup of Kubota products with 0% financing available. Greatness isn't about creating one masterpiece and calling it a day. It's about challenging yourself to create a masterpiece every time. Come celebrate a half century of innovations at the Kawasaki Golden Anniversary Sales Event. Save up to $2,500 plus 0% financing on select models at participating dealers. Visit Kawasaki.com to find a dealer near you. Visit JVM Motorsports in Harrodsburg the weekend of June 11th to test drive a new Kawasaki. Do you want to lose weight quickly and safely? Do you want to be healthy for a lifetime? Kim did and lost 238 pounds at Ageless Medical Weight Loss. Betty did and lost 135 pounds. The Ageless program is a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Tonight, search crews still haven't found a missing Southern Kentucky man who disappeared when his canoe capsized. They say the 70-year-old man was in the boat with his son last night when it hit a tree and flipped on the Rock Castle River at the Laurel Rock Castle County line. Investigators say both men made it to shore, but the son said his father went back to the canoe to get something and disappeared under the water. People who use the river often say it can be dangerous. It's a blind turn, and when you make that turn, the tree's right there in a swift current, and it's hard to get stopped. Crews say the search has stopped for the day. They'll return to the river tomorrow. Investigators have not released the man's name, but they say he is from Eubank. Dozens of people say they were stranded today when a Jessamine County Railroad crossing was closed for repairs. People who live and work on Baker's Lane say while the crossing was closed, they couldn't get in or out. Many of them said they received little warning that the crossing would be closed today, and they said they wish they had had some more time to prepare. It needs to be more planning in advance and maybe some consideration 
uh, the timing. Maybe it needs to be a weekend. Maybe it needs to be at night. Um, but, you know, it's, it seems like we don't really have any, any say in it. Norfolk Southern was responsible for making the repairs today. They did not respond to our request for a comment. Jessman County dispatchers say the Bakers Lane crossing reopened to traffic around 3 this afternoon. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Steamy and sometimes stormy. That's your forecast in a nutshell over the next 24 to 36 hours. And then the stormy carries us into the weekend as we lose a little steam. Let's look outside right now, show you what is going on in Lexington. It's a whole lot of nothing outside of a muggy afternoon. Temperatures uh, reaching the upper 80s. We had 88 at one point this afternoon, down to 86 degrees right now. Winds out of the southwest at around 8 miles per hour. Still a lot of mid and upper 80s, though you can pick out the areas seeing a little bit of rain. London, it's only 80. 72 Middlesboro, where we have thunderstorms. Those thunderstorms now beginning to flare up across southern Kentucky, drifting to the north out of parts of Tennessee. These are going to put down a lot of lightning and also some very heavy rains as well. So from Whitley City back up toward the Somerset area and right on top of Burnside, Lake Cumberland area, we are rumbling right now with some thunderstorms into parts of the uh, southern half of Pulaski County, especially. To the east we go. We kind of jump Corbin into Knox County toward Manchester, Clay County, Hyden, Leslie County. Some thunder and lightning ongoing here across the Howe Rogers Parkway. Northeastern Kentucky calming down a little bit. Bluegrass region, everything is okay outside of Bourbon County, where we may actually get a clap of thunder over the next 10, 15 minutes or so. Columbia, Russell Springs, on top of Lake Cumberland toward the southwest. Skies are darkening, and you're hearing some rumbles of thunder coming from those storms that are lifting to the north out of Tennessee. All of this ahead of an area of low pressure into the volunteer state of Tennessee or the Lone Star state of Texas, throwing moisture into the volunteer state of Tennessee and into Kentucky as well. Get the T's straight. Thursday, showers and thunderstorms around heavy downpours. Not going to rain all the time. You get more dry hours, I think, on Friday than what you will get tomorrow and certainly Saturday. Saturday's rain chances continue to creep up a little bit. We can show you that with the hour by hour forecast. Through 11 this evening, that cluster of thunderstorms, Southern Kentucky lifts to the north, begins to weaken a little bit. Then you know what we do tomorrow? We crank up a few more showers and thunderstorms. Not a big wall of water that we're going to be tracking by any stretch of the imagination. Into Friday, muggy conditions, but yet temperatures won't be as warm. A lot of upper 70s to low 80s with a threat for some thunderstorms that may interrupt some of those Friday evening plans as well. Saturday, though, Rains become more widespread as that system out of Texas kicks out and into the Ohio Valley right on through Saturday night and into the first part of our Sunday. Models during this time through Sunday and into early Monday are spitting out a general one to two inches into most of central and eastern Kentucky. That'll set us up then for a big pattern change into late this weekend and early next week. Jet stream takes a big dip across the eastern part of the country. You know what that does? Opens up the floodgates from Canada for some cooler air to push in across much of the eastern part of the country. Forecast tomorrow, 82 degrees. Watch out for some thunderstorms around. Scattered on Friday, better chances as we go into Saturday and Saturday night. Then the air behind that system will be very pleasant for this time of year. Mid-70s for highs as we go into the first half of the first full week of June. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually looking forward to the cooler temperatures. Mm -hmm. It's been hot. Yeah. It has. Past week and change. We've kind of flipped the script. We were very cool for most of May. Then all of a sudden, you know, we got toward Memorial Day weekend and we steamed it up a little bit. Now we'll go the other way. Right. Sounds good. Thanks, Chris. Coach Cal comes up with a suggestion for the SEC tournament. If it ever happened, it would be a stunner, but Cal threw it out there today at the SEC meetings in Florida. And the guys who played under Gary Henderson say thanks. A coaching change at Kentucky. That's next when we come back with sports. Get the credit approval you deserve at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Nicholasville. If you have a job at $199, you can be approved today. During the Drive and Discover event 2016, Jeep Cherokee's $199 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. When you're building your dream house, you want to make sure you're doing it right. It's a big job. But the Touchstone Energy Home Program can show you how to make your new place energy efficient, economical, and comfortable. 
We'll help you put together the home of your dreams while you save up to 30% in energy costs. You can even qualify for a rebate from your local energy cooperatives. It's easier than you think. So talk to us today about your dream home of tomorrow. Fleming Mason and Clark Energy, your Touchstone Energy cooperatives. How do you craft the world's finest bed? It starts with luxurious materials, with attention to every detail. For quality you can feel, the same quality you've come to expect at Sleep Outfitters, where now you can save up to $600 on select Stearns & Foster mattresses. Plus, get 0% APR financing for 60 months. When you lie down on a Stearns & Foster bed, you'll appreciate everything we've put in, making it that much harder to get out. Stearns & Foster, available at Sleep Outfitters. Welcome to Toyota. When you're riding through the plant, you'll get a chance to see the robots and you'll get a chance to see how everything kind of ties together. It's really like a symphony between people and machines. But when you look into the face of our team members, I think you'll see people that genuinely love what they do. They genuinely love their product. And I believe that translates into the phenomenal products that we make for each one of you as our customers. Plan your free tour today at visittoyotaky.com. CareSource insures thousands of members in Kentucky, but we're not built on numbers. We're built on compassion and care. Our commitment? People over profit. CareSource. Caring for the Commonwealth. There's a Kentucky Farm Bureau insurance agent in every county in Kentucky. Someone who's always there for you in times of need. And most other times, too. Kentucky Farm Bureau. Big on commitment. WKYT is putting the new back in late news with newer stories and more updates. So there's less repetition, which means no wasted time. WKYT News at 11. Newer, fresher worth staying up for. Save thousands at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Nicholasville, where you get 25% off MSRP on all the remaining new 2015s in stock. That's up to $14,000 off MSRP. Make the short drive to Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today. As we told you earlier, Gary Henderson resigning today as Kentucky's baseball coach, a move that came as a surprise to some of his former players. Henderson won 258 games in eight years. During the 2012 season, UK was ranked number one in the country, and he was instrumental in developing A.J. Reed into the National Player of the Year in 2014. Dustin Beggs and Dorian Hairston are thankful for the chance Henderson gave them as well. Talked to him on the phone. I, I made sure to say something about that, that I was so thankful for the opportunity. I mean, coming out of high school, I didn't really have any offers, and coming out of junior college, I had, they were few and far between. So, them definitely giving me an opportunity, it, it meant a lot. Just having them, they were always having my back, and uh, they were just great coaches for me personally. He gave me a chance to play college baseball. Um, he, he was the head coach at, at the University of Kentucky while I played Division I SEC baseball. Um, and I got to put on a uniform and, and play for the Cats. The college football season still three months off, but some good news today for UK fans. The Kentucky-Florida game in September will be seen right here on WDKYT. CBS announcing that the game on September 10th from the Swamp will be the CBS game that weekend. It will be a 3.30 kickoff in Gainesville. You'll be able to see it right here on WDKYT, your home for UK sports. One other scheduling note for you. John Wall and his Washington Wizards will face DeMarcus Cousins, Willie Cauley-Stein, and the Sacramento Kings in Rupp. Preseason NBA game. It is slated for October the 15th. Speaking of Wall, the Wizards point guard has been given the NBA CARES Community Assist Award for his work off the court. Wall is the fifth player to win the award. His John Wall Foundation is geared toward helping improve the quality of life for disadvantaged families and at-risk kids. Wall's foundation will receive a $25,000 $25, donation from the NBA. Alexis Jennings left Kentucky early this month, early last month, and now she has landed at South Carolina. Coach Dawn Staley making the transfer announcement today. Jennings, a sophomore post player out of Alabama, started 18 games for the Cats last season. 
season. She averaged 10 points and seven rebounds. Jennings will have to sit out one season and then have two years of eligibility left. That means two seasons to play against Kentucky. And Marcus Lee has yet to make a commitment after leaving Kentucky. It was widely reported over the weekend that he would commit to Cal. But Evan Daniels of Scout reports his sources say Lee visited Washington today. He reportedly visited California yesterday. And out of the SEC meetings in Dustin, Florida, John Calipari has suggested holding the SEC tournament in November. Cal has never been a fan of the tournament in March. His team won it this year, then uh, seated behind Texas A&M, who the Cats beat. Instead of single elimination, all teams would be guaranteed three games. Cal said that, smiled at the reporters, crossed his eye, and everybody laughed. So, the SEC tournament in November. Sam Andrea, back to you. Thank you, Rob. A final check of your forecast alert coming up next. And then on the CBS Evening News tonight, photo overload in the age of the smartphone. How performers are snapping back at fans with phones. WKYT's first alert weather follows you wherever you go on TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on 1045 The Cat. Bryant Heating and Cooling, providing home comfort, is our only priority. That's why we're always here for you, and we never charge overtime. No hidden fees. Because we know if you call them on the weekend, something's wrong. Call us anytime. We're here when you need us most. If your home or business has suffered damages due to storms, fire, water, or theft, we have an experienced team that can help you with your insurance claim. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Here's a fun way to control your luck. It's a game called Kino. You can start with one buck. You pick your numbers, your odds, and your wager. And the winnings, well, they could be major. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. A few minutes later, you can play it again. Now play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Flowers are important because they cheer people up. They make people feel better. They say sorry in a really easy way. And that's important to me because if someone's celebrating the birth of a baby or a graduation or some huge success, I get to be a part of that celebration. But every customer wants to be treated like you know them or like you are their friend. I promise, if you come in and get a bouquet from me, it will be fresh, colorful, made with care, and made with you in mind. Hi, I'm Amber, and I'm from the Portland Kroger. Toyota started with an idea, and Prius changed the world. That led to the family size Highlander and a hybrid version of Camry, America's best selling car, two more Prius models, a luxurious Avalon, and now the first ever RAV4 hybrid sport utility and the mid size fourth generation Prius, the most dynamic, most responsive Prius ever. Toyota hybrids, now with seven to choose from, starting at just $23.95. Toyota, let's go places. DQ funnel cake a la mo? Funnel Cake has a new home. The DQ Bakes new Funnel Cake a la mode with the world famous DQ soft serve and your favorite topping. This is fan food, not fast food. Funnel Cake a la mode. During the final week of Sleep Outfitters Memorial Day sale, we give you three great reasons to take home a Tempur Pedic. One, find Tempur Pedic queen sets on a Tempur Up adjustable base for just $34 a month. Two, receive a Visa prepaid gift card worth up to $400 with your select Tempur adjustable purchase. Three, get up to six years no interest financing on many Tempur-Pedic sets. It's three great reasons to buy Tempur-Pedic during the final days of our Memorial Day sale at Sleep Outfitters. At Bryant Heating and Cooling, providing home comfort is our only priority. That's why we're always here for you, and we never charge overtime. No hidden fees. Because we know if you call them on the weekend, something's wrong. Call us anytime. We're here when you need us most. We want to update you on a breaking news we've been tracking all day. Police say a Madison County Sheriff's deputy has been injured in a shooting. It happened this afternoon outside a home on Arthur Jackson Road near Berea. 
Police say the deputy had made a traffic stop and the suspect pulled into his own driveway. They say the deputy and the suspect then exchanged shots. The deputy was hit in the side. Police say the suspect was killed and the deputy was taken to UK hospital with non life threatening injuries. Police say they're interviewing two people who were in the suspect's car when all of this was taking place. A police source is telling us that the injured deputy is alert at the hospital and has been talking to his family. So some really good news there. We're told that he could be released from the hospital sometime tonight. Stay with WKYT for updates. We'll have the latest tonight at 11. We'll also have updated information on WKYT.com and the WKYT News app. All right, one last look at that forecast. Yeah, we've got some storms out there, southern Kentucky especially, and notice how those storms are increasing as they lift their way onto the north. We'll especially watch that little thunderstorm into southern parts of Pulaski County from sections of northern McCreary County into southern Pulaski County, heading towards Somerset, Mount Victory, and the Burnside area. Very heavy rains with that. That'll continue to lift on to the north, and of course, we'll track them all evening long. And again, a big welcome to Andrea Walker, who uh, hails from here in central Kentucky and has been working in Bowling Green. Glad to have her back home. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The news is always on at WKYT.com. We'll see you back here at 11.